Hello and uh, welcome to this demo. So in this demo we would be looking at some data transformations. So let's quickly fire up Bidge. Um, so I'll be starting a new project. Um, business intelligence project. And in that I'll start with integrated integration services project. Let me call this as demo 4 and I'll save it in my demos folder okay so we have created our new project so the basic idea that um, will be presented in this demo is uh, we will be taking data from multiple sources combining them all and finally pushing it to our destination. So your data transformations are basically um, components that you can use in order to build your data flow logic. So for instance, say you have an Excel file source and a flat file source. You need to combine the data from both of them and uh, refine the data and finally push to a, say an SQL uh, destination. You could do so using these uh, components. So we'll be looking at a very small demo so what we'll be doing is taking data from two excel files and we'll combine both of them and push it to a database and if possible we'll look at some other tasks that are actually listed down in this toolbox so let me just prepare some input data so in our demo one we created um, a flat file or an excel file sorry so I'll just make use of the same one, copy the Excel file. Okay, so we'll be taking data from both these files. Let us just look at the data in this. So it's nothing special about this, just about three or four columns and we would be basically taking data from these columns and pushing it to a database. So essentially we are having around 16 rows or something. So in your database, after you combine data from both these files, you should get around 32 plus rows or something like that. Since both the files are same. Right, so let us just go to our bids. So I'll click on data flow and let me add a data flow to this. So I'll add an Excel source and call this as Excel source one. I'll add one more Excel source and call this as Excel source two. So first and foremost, what I need to do is set up the properties for both of them. So I'll right click on this, click on edit and first and foremost I need to give the excel file path name. So in my files folder I created two of them. I'll take db to excel the first one. I'll choose the version as excel 2007 and you need to also select the excel sheet so I'll choose it as department. So here you can actually look at your columns that Excel provides from the input source. You could make necessary modifications accordingly. In error output, you would find certain columns, error, truncation, etc. In a further demo, we would be um, talking about error handling techniques. So we'll revisit this later on. For now, let me click OK. And similarly, I'll configure my source to and I'll give the path name as copy to Excel DB department columns look fine. Click on OK. So my input source, the Excel files are from Excel files are ready. What I need to do is combine both of them. So 
if you just navigate the options under data flow transformations you would find something called as union all right so let me just drag and drop this so union all basically takes multiple inputs combines the data and puts them into one single output right so here the inputs would be your excel source files just right click on this click on edit and it's going to give me a small wizard type we can review the changes so what it basically says is your output columns are department id name group name and so on and so forth and the two input columns represent this so you can very well change your column names so if you have your uh, input source as a text file etc you could this is a good place to review and uh, later on you can whatever changes you want to make you can make it right now so we have two inputs which is connected to the union all let us also look at some other transformation mm, let's see what we can get okay sort so as the name suggests it basically is going to sort your columns so what i'm going to do is connect this to sort i think it's not connected okay you click on edit so these are the available input columns for this particular transformation so i say i want to sort it by name so this is my input column this is my output alias sort type i could change ascending or descending i'll keep it for ascending right now click on ok so my sort is properly configured similar to a union all you also has you have a merge in which you can start merging your data and pushing it we'll, we'll try to cover this in a separate demo if possible okay so let's um, push this into a database let's take ola db data connection db destination so let me first connect this um, I'll click on edit and i'll create a separate connection manager so i have it in my data connections i have this connection string ready so I'll click on ok and i'll also create a new table for this so i'll call this as say demo 4 so i can review my mappings over here this is my destination and that is my source review my mappings so again this is the error output and we will be covering this in more detail later on so this basically gives you your schema of the output just close this click on ok and I'll just debug this package okay looks like uh, we have 32 rows transferred so let's just fire up management studio I connected to my server instance and my database just navigate to demo 4 choose the top thousand rows and you could see the data is transferred and from both the excel files and it is also sorted according to name so this is how we configured in our bids package so that's pretty much it so it's pretty much simple it's also a good idea to explore other options that you have in this your merge join copy column data mining and so on and so forth thank you